Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today I'm sharing the cards I made using Doodlebug Designs Made With Love 6x6 Paper Pad. This collection is absolutely adorable. Along with the paper pad, I also purchased the Odds and Ends Ephemera Pack and two of the Shape Sprinkles. I have the Sprinkling of Love and also Bitsy Chips. These are adorable. I tried to lay out all the ephemera pieces, but there are so many, I had to stack some of them on top of each other. I believe there's 161 pieces. I'll also be using Love from Lizzie Peeloffs for embellishments on my cards. If you are interested in any of the products I use in this video, I will have links provided in the description box below. Now the original plan was for Jen over at Scrap Beta Creations and I were going to do a collab using this collection. Well, I guess it's been selling out super fast. So Jen wasn't able to get it as early as I did. She is still planning on using the collection and making her cards and I know they're all going to be adorable. I love Jen's cards. So as soon as she has a video available, I will add a link at the end of this video and also one in the description box. I believe Doodlebug released this collection specifically for Valentine's. Some of the cut aparts have those fun, punny sentiments on them. Now I'm not gonna make just Valentine's and you could easily make other card themes because it really has more of a cooking or baking theme versus Valentine theme. Now I do still need my Valentine cards for the year since I donate cards to the residents at a nearby retirement home. And my goal for most holidays is 90 cards, but I have been told that they only need 60 Valentine cards right now. So even though I'm not gonna use any Happy Valentine's Day stamps on the outside of my cards, I will be adding it to the inside of the cards that I feel are appropriate for the retirement home. I try to select cards that aren't too lovey for Valentine's since they are going to strangers. If you follow me on social media, I have an Instagram and a Facebook page. I recently shared about a very sad event. My favorite magical pink scissors broke and they actually broke during this video and during the first two set of cards. So right here, they're probably broken, but I didn't notice it yet. There's a crack on the handle. So I'm just cutting peel-offs and they cut just fine, not a big deal. But the next time I use them, they're gonna break. And you'll get to see that right here on the video. And if you're wondering, why do I call them magical pink scissors? Well, I didn't give them this name. This was a friend of mine that called them the magical pink scissors. And the reason is because I can cut anything adhesive, so score tape, anything with ATG on it. And then I can turn around and cut a piece of twine or ribbon or paper and I never have a problem. The adhesive just doesn't stick. So here we go. There is the first part where my scissors are breaking. And while I'm cutting, I could tell it felt different. But here's the part you can really see it. That handle just completely separated. So I thought I'd pull them out again and you can just see that big crack in the handle of the scissors. My husband is going to try to repair them, but I'm not sure they're really repairable. I have now purchased some new scissors. They're not quite the same, but in this video, you're gonna see me use at least four pairs of scissors. One I had on hand and then a couple I recently purchased from Amazon. I know it's silly to be attached to a pair of scissors, but they were really good scissors. Now moving back to the card making process, I will be using quite a few card sketches. If you are interested in any of the sketches I use, I share all of that on my coordinating blog post. That link is provided in the description box below, or you can simply head over to christymarcotte.com. Since it takes several hours to turn a six by six paper pad into cards, this video has been sped up six times. The real-time recording was just over six hours, not including any of my planning, prep, or die cutting time. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Now please sit back and relax and enjoy my video.
here are all the leftover pattern paper scraps. I just had five pieces. Now I still have all of these mini tags and I don't care for them because of their size and also the sentiments just don't work very well for retirement home cards. So I am gonna add all of those to my scrap box. I'm collecting all the scraps from my paper pads for the year and at the end of the year, I'm gonna attempt to make a few more cards. In addition to the paper pad, I also used eight sheets of eight and a half by 11 and 11 sheets of 12 by 12 solid colored cardstock. I made a total of 34 cards using Doodlebug Designs Made With Love 6x6 paper pad. This collection is adorable. All Doodlebug collections are adorable, so this one is no exception. I will have links provided in the description box for most of the products used in this video. And as soon as Jen at Scrapina Creations has her video ready, I will provide a link at the end of this video and also down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.